What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video and today's video I'm doing a sauce taste test and then I'm going to show you guys all the sauces we have, sweet sauces and savory sauces to make your lifestyle, your diet, your healthy journey more doable because Food is bland, and when you're eating healthy, it's even blander, so you got to jazz it up with seasonings and sauces. So today, we're going to be taste testing all of your favorite sauces and syrups and all that. So I'll bring you back in a sec. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, support your girl. My name is Joy. I've lost 150 pounds on my journey, and I'm still trying to get the rest of my weight off. So if you like that and you're trying to figure out how I did it and kept it off five years, stick around and hit that subscribe button. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, here's all the sauces lined up. We've got some of your savory best food sauces, and then we've got a whole bunch of G. Hughes sauces, and we got some syrups to try. And so I made French toast, low calorie French toast, with a slice of Sara Lee uh, bread and some egg beaters. And then I made some of the bear chicken nuggets from Costco, the healthy ones. And so I'm going to use this to try the savory and this to try the sweet. So I'm going to set you back up. I just wanted you guys to see all these lovely sauces. And we're going to do this one by one. Okay, so just to let you guys know, these are not all my sauces. We've collected them from my friend here. Some are mine and I've tried them and some are hers and I haven't tried them. And before you go out and buy something, you kind of want to know what it tastes like. That's why I'm here to try them for you. Now everybody has a different palette, right? So something I might like, you might not, but I'll tell you why I like it or why I don't like it when I try it. So first I'm really wanting to go in to this Walden Farms Caramel Syrup. Now remember, some of these things have chemicals in them. If they're sugar-free, clearly they're not all clean, right? But you got to pick your battles. And if something tastes good and I'm still, you know, losing weight, I'm picking my battles. I don't eat it all day, every day. You know, this is on special occasions. So, that being said, this says caramel. She said it tastes more like butterscotch. I like butterscotch too, so if we're anywhere in that realm, we'll be okay. So I think I'm just going to do a little dab on each bite because we were going to put it on a plate, but then I'm, I don't want to get lost on what I'm trying. So first up, on the French toast, I'm trying the Walden Farms Caramel. So I'll put just a little doop. Is that enough? Maybe. Okay. So I have it on my French toast. That's a weird way to hold my fork. I like that. It does. It tastes like butterscotch. I'm dripping. This tastes exactly like butterscotch. You're right. It doesn't taste like caramel. It tastes like butterscotch. But I really like it. That's good. Where'd you get this? I don't know if I got it at Fred Meyer. I may have ordered it off of Amazon. I think I ordered like a four pack off of Amazon that came with caramel, Amazon. blueberry, pancake syrup, and strawberry. And she ordered all of them, and it comes together in like a four-pack. But does Walmart sells Walden Farms, right? They have the chocolate syrup. Um, oh. And I didn't bring the chocolate. I should have. So if you want this, you might have to order it off Amazon or look in your store. Walmart or Kroger might have it. But if you like, it doesn't taste like caramel, but it does taste just like butterscotch. So if you like butterscotch, you'll probably like this. So that's good. And I didn't taste a big chemical taste with it. Surprisingly, I thought I would, but I didn't. So this is a winner in my book. So we'll put that to the side. Next one I'm going to try is just calorie free Walden Farms. Oh, I forgot to say that. This is zero calories. Now, in my opinion, nothing is zero calories, but if you go with the serving, you're probably getting one or two calories. It's not enough for them to log, right? So zero calories, this is a winner. And it's for what? Two tablespoons. So just stick with your servings. And you can have a few tablespoons and still obviously be low calorie. This is zero two. Walden Farms is known for their zero calorie. This one is just pancake syrup. Now I have a pancake syrup and it's sugar free, but it's 15 calories. This one's zero. So we're gonna try it. It 
It's not bad. It almost tastes like the one I have. It's not bad. I think it's a little thinner than a lot of the sugar-free It is, yeah. yeah it's a it's not as sticky. It's more, yeah, like thinner, watery, but the flavor is still good and for no calories. So even if you want a few tablespoons, you might get a couple calories, but that's not bad at all. It's not just the no calories, it's the low carb too. Most yeah, there's the no carb, right? sugar-free syrups still have carbs. Yeah. So a lot of the sugar-free syrups, she said, still have carbs. This one, no carbs, or one carb. This one has one, less than one. Actually, it has a less than sign. So yeah, you're basically getting no carbs and no calories. So if you eat it in moderation, it's probably close to true. You know what I mean? So those are, those are good, no problems there. Blueberry syrup. Give it a try. This one's also zero. Zero, zero, so. Blueberry. I like berry stuff. I like that. I like that more than the syrup one. These are pretty good. I was being very judgmental. I tried something Walden Farms. I think it was a salad dressing. I did not like it. It tastes very chemically. I didn't like it, if I'm being honest. But these syrups are good, they're not bad. I would say first and foremost, my fave out of the syrups, this one, the caramel, AKA butterscotch. Then I would say the blueberries, my next favorite, and then the pancake syrups, my last. So, but if there's one that I would probably order when I get off of this video, I think I'm gonna get this, I really like it. So, those are really good. Now we're gonna go into savory. And there's a lot going on here. The ones I've already tried, I'm just gonna tell you guys I've already tried them and I'll tell you kind of what they taste like. And then, oh, I just had her try, cause she, believe it or not, Miss Sauce Queen has not tried this one. Mm -hmm. And this one I just got and I really liked it. This one is the Sweet Chili Thai Sauce and it's by G Hughes. It's five calories for two tablespoons and two grams of carbs. So it's really good. It's got a nice sweetness, but then it has the heat. I like it, you liked it. I did, I think it's one of the better sauces up there. Actually. Yeah, and I've tried a couple of the G Hughes and this one's pretty good for dipping, you know what I mean? So sweet chili is a winner. I've already tried it, so I'm not gonna try it again. She just tried it and she liked it. So if you wanna go for a G Hughes sauce and you like dipping stuff, I would recommend this. Where'd you find that one? This I found at, I think it was Walmart or Albertsons. It might have been, I think it was Walmart. I wanna say Walmart. But Albertsons has it too. I've seen it at Albertsons, so. It wasn't cheap. I think they were what, three or four bucks or something. Mm -hmm. It was in the three or four dollar range. It wasn't cheap, cheap, but I mean, it gives you a huge, it's a big bottle. All right, so we're gonna put that to the side because we already know what that tastes like. Um, sweet and spicy, I already tried this too. So, if I'm being honest, I'm not a good critic with barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce to me, most of them are too sweet for me. I'm not a big barbecue sauce person unless it's more spicy or vinegar based, like tangy. Um, you, did you like this? I like the sweet and spicy, yeah. I hate she the liked original it. though. She likes original more. Um, I liked it because I used it. Obviously I used it. I think I used it three times. Um, for chicken nuggets, I did like it, but it you don't need a lot. It's very, to me, overpowering, like, sweet. But if you like sweet and you like sweet barbecue sauce, this is really good, and it's thick. Like, you get what you get. It's really good. 10 calories for two tablespoons and two carbs. So that's another G. Hughes sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. So this is good if you like sweet barbecue sauce. All right. Let's go with one I haven't tried. I've been really wanting to get into, was it this one? No. This one. Chili Honey Sauce. It's by Best Foods. You guys have seen me use this one, Creamy Sriracha Sauce. This is good. And I use this on like my California rolls, my sushi rolls. Um, I'm trying to think, I put on eggs before. So this one's pretty good. I like it, it has a little bit of a kick. So I'm not gonna try that because I've already tried it and you like it too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a winner. 
I want to try this Best Foods Chili Honey one. She had it, so she's letting me try it. Now, do you like this one? I do like it. I she does like, like this one. I like a little sweetness to them and a little kick, too. Okay, so this has sweetness and kick to it, so let's give it a try. I'm excited. And these are not zero calorie like the Walden Farms, but 40 calories for a tablespoon isn't bad for something like this. This is like a real good thick sauce, right? It's kind of like a mayonnaise type of sauce. Not this one, but you know what I mean. So, just gonna squirt some on here. We gotta get the taste. Mm hmm. I like this. And there's the kick. I'm gonna get this. I like this. It does, it has a tang to it. And a little bit of sweet and then right at the end you get a little bit of kick and it's not overpowering mm -hmm. it's just a little bit of heat this is really good I recommend that that's gonna be one I buy too so I'm gonna I'm I'm definitely going for the the caramel Walden Farms because it tastes like butterscotch I like it I'm definitely gonna go try this one out the honey chili that's really good and then let's get into these since we're on this best foods Cilantro lime. Haven't tried it. We're going to try it. How'd you feel about this one? Um, I think it was all right. Yeah. You, you have to like cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm not a huge cilantro fan. I like it a little, but... I like this. Yeah, you do taste cilantro. So if you like cilantro... I'm going to clean the tops. I hate it when the tops are messy. Um, if you like cilantro, you'll like this. And it's definitely what it says, cilantro and lime. And it has that creamy base, so probably, I'm guessing, a mayonnaise base or something. This is also 40 calories for a tablespoon. This would be good on, like, wraps, mm -hmm. burgers, sandwiches, yeah. I mean, salad, anything. Anything you want to put this on. This is pretty good. Man, so, so far, I've had all the best food ones and liked them. I haven't had one that I haven't liked. Jalapeno Ranch, my kids would probably love this, to be honest. So let's find out. Look at this little piece. Well, I'm trying to taste the sauce, right? Not the nugget. The whole point. Okay. This is good. Mm -hmm. I liked all the sauces mm -hmm. as well, the best food ones. Yeah. Okay. This might be my favorite. I don't know. I think I like the honey um, yeah. chili one. Yeah. I'm going to say first, second. Yeah. I'm going with this I one. That, that yeah. would be my order too. Third, and then fourth. Yes. But they're all good. I'll probably go out and get all of them. I still have the creamy sriracha because that's my first one I tried. But now that I got to try them, you see, find a friend, you guys. Find a friend. Because now I got to try them and now I know I want to waste my money and buy them, right? Because it won't be a waste because I actually like them. So, best foods, sauces, 40 calories, all of them. They're a win. So, give them a try. They're exactly what they say they are, too. You notice mm -hmm. that? So, that's kind of nice. All right. I've never tried the barbecue sauce original. I'll give it a try, but I have a bias, you guys, so just remember that. But if you like barbecue sauce, it seems like Gee Hoos makes good barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Especially like sweet barbecue sauce. I don't want too much. Okay. And this is two tablespoons for 10, too. All right, now, that's weird. Okay. I like this one, and I never thought I would say this, more than I like the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. I don't know if it's less sweet to me. It is less sweet. And they also okay. have, like, I think a mesquite one, too. I haven't tried yet, but they've got other flavors. So this is the one I have, and it's very sweet, and it does have a kick. This original one is just like regular barbecue sauce. It's not that sweet. This is really good. It's very thick. Like, this is good. If you want barbecue sauce, go for it. I highly recommend this. And I'm not a big barbecue sauce person, so if I'm saying that, that's 
something. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I've been curious about this, but I don't eat a lot of honey mustard, so I never went out and bought it. It's a G. Hughes Honey Mustard Original. And 20 calories for two tablespoons. Again, really good. This one seems a little higher than the other ones. One carb, though, which is lower than the other ones. So, I'll try this little guy right here. We'll stay. Mm. I wouldn't buy that one again. Me neither. Yeah, I think right. how much shaken. Right, exactly. It's pretty sweet. It doesn't have much missing. You can tell how much she liked it. Yeah, it is sweet, but I'm not getting a mustard, mm -mm, honey no, mustard. It was just sweetness. Yeah, just sweetness. It's good. It's not bad. I'm not gonna say any of these have been bad, but not my favorite. So honey mustard can stay, but if you like it, but if you're liking honey mustard, that is not. Mm -mm. Close to That's honey not mustard. The honey no. mustard I'd go with either. No, mm -hmm. yeah. There's probably other ones. In fact, I wonder if Best Foods makes something honey and, mustard well, lower calorie. Didn't you, um, there's a what's that one? It's a salad dressing in the fridge. Um, the skinny oh, girl honey mustard. Skinny girl honey mustard. Yes, and I did try that, and that was better. That was better that than this. That tastes like honey mustard. Yeah, if you Do the skinny one. girl. That was yeah. like five or ten calories mm -hmm. for two tablespoons. Yeah. So if you want honey mustard, I'd go a skinny girl brand over the G Hughes. But other than that, the G Hughes is pretty good. Now she said she wasn't a big fan of the steak sauce. I just haven't eaten a lot of steak. Really. Right. Because what would chicken. you put steak yeah. sauce on other than steak or maybe a burger? So I'm eating chicken. I don't know if this is exactly going to go, but five calories for a tablespoon. And how many carbs? One carb. Yeah. And I didn't dislike it. I just don't have a use for it for the I'm most part. a knife. This baby's thick. Okay. I'm just going to use a knife and put a little bit on there. All right. Oh, it's steak sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just I just don't have a use for it very much. Right. Yeah. It's like. It's all right on chicken, but I can see what you mean. You draw it on steak, beef, something. It tastes like it belongs on steak. Right. right? It's steak sauce. This tastes just like steak sauce. Yeah. So if you like steak sauce, this is really good. So yeah, I don't think I'd buy it because again, I don't eat a lot of. No, and I don't think, like, I like A1, and I don't right. think that it's got that many calories. A1 doesn't, It's like, no. what, 15 calories right. or something for a tablespoon, so right. I probably wouldn't buy that one again. No, but if you eat a lot of steak or beef or hamburgers, you might like this. It's really good, and it's not bad at all. Not my favorite, though, just because of what I eat mm -hmm. and stuff. Then we got Polynesian. Now, she liked to cook with this to make, like, Asian food. Mm -hmm. But as far as a dipping sauce, not so much. No. Okay, so we're gonna go in and give this a try. It's a G. Hughes Polynesian sauce. This is 10 calories for two tablespoons and two carbs. So all these are so low, you guys. You could have, if you're someone that likes sauce and you're like, I want four or five tablespoons of sauce, these are what you need to be using, right? Because then you're getting your sauce, but you're not getting all those calories if you just went out and bought a regular sauce, you know, on the shelf. So I would definitely recommend using these because none of them have been bad. The only one I wasn't, the honey mustard was the only one that didn't taste like honey mustard, but the rest mm -hmm. of them are really good. I haven't had a problem with them. I'm going to be a sauce queen too. I'm going to go out and get some of these. Okay. Polynesian. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's kind of like a ketchup mm -hmm. with, like, I don't know if it's like a pineapple or yeah. just, it's, but it's ketchup to me. Yeah, it's like a sweeter ketchup. This is throwing me off. Yeah. It's not what I thought it was going to be. You're right. So it does taste, I mean, it's less calories than ketchup. If you're missing ketchup, this is very much like ketchup, but with like a sweet pineapple-y yeah. or orangey or some Sometimes. kind of fruity sweetness to it. It's very sweet, but it definitely tastes like ketchup with a sweetness, like not a sugar sweetness, like a fruity sweetness. 
But yeah, not my fave. I could see how you could cook with it though and it'd be okay. Yeah, it's not bad like on the ground chicken, like throwing right. it in there with some other like foods. stir fry yeah, or something. Or, yeah. Yeah, not not even necessarily Asian, but it just <laughs> it does add to the flavor. And it'll give it that sweetness you need. Yeah. This one's really sweet. Okay, so I'm going to say these two aren't my faves. I wouldn't buy those again. And she agrees. And we yeah. have a little bit of different palette, me and her, but still. So that tells you something. The honey mustard and the Polynesian, not our faves. They're not horrible. Not our faves. Because they're not what, they're not giving what they say they're giving, mm -hmm. I guess, would be the way. Steak sauce, not bad. If you want steak sauce, hey, that's good steak sauce. Now the original barbecue, I'm going to get this. I like this way better than this. I don't know why. I don't like sweet barbecue, and I feel like this one is just sweet to me. So this one, really good. And I would say then I would go with, actually, no, I'm doing it backward. This one would be my first. It's a sweet chili one. This one's good for dipping. Then I would say the original barbecue. Then I would go with the sweet and spicy. We, we are in the same order for the best foods yeah. and for the G Hughes. Exactly the same order. Yep. So... So that's it, guys. You just got our reviews. We like them. I recommend them. I'm definitely going online to order this because it tastes like butterscotch, and I love butterscotch. So definitely going to get that, and I'm definitely going out to get the best foods. All of them, the jalapeno ranch, the cilantro lime, and the chili honey. I'm going out to get those. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Short, simple, to the point. I hope this gave you an idea of some sauces you can go out and try and maybe it'll help you kind of guide you and what you want to try so you're not wasting your money. Remember, sauces make the foods good. Season, sauce, that's how you get through your journey. Love you guys. Till next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. As always, you can do this. It's not easy, but it is doable. Love you guys. Bye.